quick update on the car. And I haven't posted in months and months and months. Um, I really don't go on IG anymore. Uh, just a summary, just to let you guys know, uh, the dyno day didn't go as planned. This happened back in mid-December, I believe. Um, we found out the car was overheating or starting to overheat and it caused a ra it raised a level of concern with my tuner. So we stopped the dyno, I towed it back home and I, from that point on, I had just haven't been on social media that much. Um, just, it, it's tough because the amount of time, money and effort that you put into the car, um, the, you know, it feels like it just all went down the drain, you know? So, like I said, a quick update, the car is still with me. Did buy a new, we think it might be a head gasket because we did find um, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide and the coolant. So it wasn't much, it changed color, but there was uh, remnants of it, um, traces of it, I mean. So went ahead and get another head gasket. The plan is to have Mark Racing come up, tow the vehicle back down to their shop, pull the head off. Hopefully it's not a, um, it's not a warped head. Hopefully it's, it's just the gasket went bad. So the reason why we think it might be the gasket or maybe the warped head, uh, last summer, I don't, some of you guys have seen my video about my best cooling mod is tying the both fans, uh, kick them on at the same time and not just have one for AC and one to whatever, but just have them on at the same time always. Um, the reason I start doing that is the fact that I had a failure in my spall fans. One of them failed we, and I, my car was starting to overheat, especially on hot days. So found out what had happened and then we just did this mod. And there was a short period of time where I was driving the car and I would, my temperatures would skyrocket into the low, I think it was like 220, 230, which is big, big red flag. So I keep cutting off the car, try to let it cool. And so I had a, a problem with that. So it don't take much for gaskets or the uh, aluminum head to warp a little bit. I had no issues, none whatsoever. Um, so after that, went to another dyno, you know, did everything. Like everything was fine. But when we went to the dyno in, De uh, in December, also the possibility might be a lifted head. Uh, head lifted maybe but we did buy ARP um, the four piston specially made head studs for my motor and it should have been good enough um, so because <laughs> with the 2300 we're pushing 30 pounds of boost I think it was like 31 32 pounds of boost so we don't know if the head got lifted a little bit and maybe that's what it is we don't know so as of right now it's just a guessing game. Hopefully it's that. And the worst case scenario, we think because it's a sleeve block, hopefully the sleeve didn't drop slightly. I, hopefully that's not the case. If it is, then I, I don't know how I'm going to continue. The car, I don't know. It might, it, I don't know. I hope it doesn't come down, to that, come down to that. I hope it's just a head gasket. If not, maybe warped head, cool, resurface. I hope it's just one of those two. If it's a... Drop sleeve, I'm fucked. This car is gonna be sitting for a long time because uh, I can't. I put too much money in it already. I, I can't keep shedding out money uh, to, to this project. And it's very disappointing because I had a lot of plans to go down uh, to Florida, and I meet a lot of YouTubers because a lot of Boost Night Gents are down there, and just have, make some contact with contact with them, and um, you know, a couple races, go to tracks down there, and and just just expand, you know, just network. Uh, different states and I honestly I was just trying to do like an East Coast um, a trip go down to Florida maybe go up to New York and go from there but I don't know guys uh, that's just a channel update um, hopefully we'll get the car down to Merc Racing as soon as possible and give you guys an update um, if you guys have messaged me on IG I literally don't check my IG I know I had a couple pending messages I just just a lot of things going on in my life plus the, the the car just, it, it really bummed me out, man. It, 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 it could put you in a, you know, I don't want to make it sound so terrible, but it puts you in a dark spot. Uh, whatever passion you have about a car, 
it puts you in a dark spot within that passion. So it sucks. It sucks. But um, all right, guys, that's the video. Till next time. Thank you.